Hey, my name is Rex, and uh, it's a pleasure for us as a family to bless you. And so here goes. Here's how you do it. Here's the computer. I have loaded Corral Draw, which is here. That's there. I have loaded Sign Tools 3, which is in the computer as well. Uh, we have blessed you with 400 different fonts, so that's good for you. Here is the, the Bible and audio. The whole New Testament and the whole Old Testament, I got it from audiotreasure.com. Okay, but here's how you do it. You open Corral Draw. Okay, so what you do is inside Corral Draw, on the left side, there's the text tool. Click it, put it here, type what you want. F-R-A-G-I-L-E. When you're finished, grab it by the edge. It's scalable. If you want to change it, like we do today, you can change it. If you want to change a font, you know the deal. We've given you 400 different fonts. A lot of sign writing is done in impact, which is that. You put it there. Then over here, you click on the rocket. It's at the top. There's a rocket. You click it. You come down to Sign Tools 3 and you activate it. Okay. From there, you come across to Cut, which is over there. Here. You click Cut. You click OK and out it comes on the cutter. Now cutter from the back side. You take your vinyl and you push it through on an angle like that. Then you bring it down here and you line it up on the second line in the middle. You flatten out the vinyl across it and you lower the lever like a sewing machine. Then you come around this side and on this button over here, you push enter. Around this side, around here Jesse, around here you have the pen forge. It's how deep it cuts. Put it just where the blue mark is. If it's too deep, then it will cut through the backing paper of the vinyl. If you find it's cutting through the backing paper, then lift it to the forward. Move it forward some more. So now we are ready to cut. So we've clicked on cut. We select all objects and we click OK. Okay, now what you do is you take a knife and you run it through your vinyl and then what you can do is you can look at it in the sun and pick out the eyes of letters. You must be, I'm just on the camera but you must be careful with the the A's and the N's and the M's. 
but you'll learn that. Okay, and then you can run a line around the outside of it. Like that. And then you can peel it out. Like that. Now what you do is you, you take your masking tape, you put it on, use your two-person job, and you flatten it down. You take your squeegee, if you don't have one use a block of wood, and you rub the masking tape onto it. Then you take it and you remove the backing waxed paper. Then you take it to your object that you're going to work with. Clean the surface. Lay it down. Lay it down at one end first. Squeeze it from the top down like that. Trying not to trap bubbles of air. If you trap bubbles of air, prick it with a pin and push the air out. Then you take the masking tape, pull it flat downwards and remove it. Voila! It is done. Some other things that I've worked out. Here at the top, beside the word custom, it's got 300.0 centimeters and 50 centimeters. Now 50 is two little arrows, that's the width, 50 centimeters. 300 is three meters long. Over here it says units. I like to work in centimeters. So always have the width of your page set at 50 centimeters. And then if you've got a six meter piece of vinyl that you're cutting, we'll change it to 600 centimeters long there. All right, so get your background Get your page as the piece of vinyl, 500 wide and however long it is. I also save my work and then I come back, I take the work from last time that I was working on, I drag it onto the desktop, I write my new words and then I click file, save as and I'm working on another job but I didn't have to set up the background of 500 by whatever long each time. So just save yourself a template on the desktop and, uh, and that will help you. Hey, well, that's it for now. God bless you. And from Rex and my camera lady, Josie. Josie. Have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye.